Hey everyone, what is happening? Well, today we're going to be talking about the atomic theory, isotopes, and radioactive decay. Now, we all know about radioactive decay. We know about Spider-Man. And, well, you know, he got bitten by a radioactive spider. It doesn't really happen like that, but you never know. So watch out for radioactive spiders. Radioactivity is the release of high energy particles and rays of energy from a substance as a result of changes in the nuclei of its atoms. So we can use radioactivity to improve our lives, such as through medical diagnosis and by generating electricity. Natural background radiation is a stream of high energy, fast moving particles or waves that are found in our environment. Radiation refers to high energy rays and particles emitted by radioactive sources. Radiation includes all types of waves in the electromagnetic spectrum. Light is the only form of radiation that we can actually see. And if we look at this spectrum here, this is the only wavelengths that we can actually see, which is pretty crazy. There's all this other radiation around us that we can't see, but it's there. So in 1895, a uh, German physicist Wilhelm Röntgen discovered that a new form of energy was emitted from certain substances when he bombarded them with electrons. So basically, he shot electrons at certain substances and they, uh, they emitted energy. All right? um, these invisible rays will be able to make changes to photographic film um, the way regular light can. He called the newly discovered rays X-rays. And later, Henry Bessarel uh, discovered by chance that uranium salts emitted rays that changed photographic paper. Um, basically, he had some he was um, had some uranium and he had some film by it, and he noticed that the film was uh, changed. So he had some hunches about the fact that uranium would be giving off some sort of radiation, which is pretty cool. So it was pretty much by chance. Um, Mary and Pierre Curie continued Becquerel's work, isolating the uranium atoms from the salt sample. They identified two new elements, polonium and radium. Marie Curie later died due to radiation poisoning. So we're on to isotopes and mass number. Now we talked about isotopes being different versions. Um, so isotopes are atoms of an element that have a different number of neutrons in their nuclei, but they have the same number of protons. That's really important to remember. Now, I like to think about this as um, like the video game Black Ops or Call of Duty. So COD, you've got like version 1, version 2, version 3, version 4, and who knows, they're going to continue on. So it's the same video game with the same premise, but they're different versions. So that's just like isotopes in an element that they'll have the exact same name, so Call of Duty, but their version is like Black Ops or the other one, I don't know. All right, so the mass number of the isotopes are different because of the different number of neutrons in the nucleus, all right? But the protons, or the atomic number, never changes. All right, so the mass is the whole number, it's never a decimal, and it shows the number of protons and neutrons. Electrons aren't included because they weigh so little compared to protons and neutrons. So let's take a quick look here, and if you've had a banana in the last little while, you've had three different isotopes of potassium. And you've had potassium-39, potassium-40, and potassium-41. You'll notice these are all different versions of potassium, and we write it a certain way. So we've got potassium there, we've got potassium 39, we've got potassium 40, and we've also got potassium 41. You'll notice that the top number tells us the mass of the isotope, and the bottom number tells the number of protons in the isotope. And you'll notice that the number of protons never, ever change. So what I'd like you to do, let's, uh, I'd like you to try this using your periodic table of elements, and We've got number of protons, number of neutrons, mass number, and nuclear symbol. Remember that the number of protons is the key for determining that element. So if we look at neon 21, well, neon always has 10 protons.
And now, if it's got 21 there, that means it's its atomic mass, so that's going to have 11. Those add to 21. So our mass number is 21, and the nuclear symbol would be N with 21 and 10. All right, I'd like you to try those other two out for me, please. Now, what we have now is we're going to be talking a little about radioactive decay. And what it is, it's the process in which unstable nuclei lose energy by emitting radiation. Unstable isotopes will continue to go under, undergo radioactive decay until they form a stable non-radioactive atom. Um, and this is usually a different element. So isotopes that are able to undergo radioactive de decay are called radioisotopes. And there's three types of decay. We have alpha decay, we have beta decay, and we have gamma decay. The first one we're going to do is alpha radiation. Now, alpha radiation is a stream of alpha particles. Alpha radiation is a stream of alpha particles. Alpha particles are the most massive of all radioactive particles. They're made up of two neutrons and two protons. This is the same as the nucleus of helium atom. So check out this picture. We have radium-226, and we have, and when we have alpha decay, we get radon-222 plus an alpha particle. Now, what's really cool about this is you're going to notice that if we put this equal, we've got 226 right here, and we've got 222 plus 4. You'll notice that 4 plus 222 equals 226. And if we look over here, we've got 2 and 86. Well, put those two together, and they equal 88. This is all about the law of conservation of mass. Alpha particles are often represented by writing as a 4 and a 2 with an alpha symbol, or a 4 and a 2 as a helium atom. All right? They're not very penetrating article, particles, and they are able to be stopped by a piece of paper. So get out your paper ha hats, and you'll be protected. Let's try this first one example. So we've got polonium there, and we're going to get some alpha decay. Well, we know that 4 plus something equals 208, so we've got 204 here. And 2 plus something equals 84, so that's going to be 82. And we know that if we look on our periodic table for 82 as our atomic number, we get PB, and that is lead. Try those other ones on your own. Have a good rest of the day.